Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part two of Skyrim on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were, pretty much. I've just stepped back from the bridge a little bit. Now, there have been quite a few of you asking since I posted the last part up, or the first part up, to put a mod on. We all know that this is... <laughs> Shush, Alvor, I'm trying to explain something. So, we all know that this game's capped at 30 frames per second at the minute, and there is a mod, apparently, that people have kindly told me about, which uncaps it and lets it go up to 60 if it can so i have added that mod and we now have it loaded in of which it'll show us any second now come along mods there we go. So it's just simply called Uncap FPS, and it's a simple any tweak that disables VSync and removes 30 frames per second cap. 60 FPS is possible with this mod enabled, but it will not be a constant FPS. Obviously, the downside of putting mods on is that they are not supported as such, and also the achievements are then not available for the game and i haven't got all the achievements for this particular version of the game as it happens but never mind we shall give it a go now it was worth stepping back because i need to get rid of all my guff that i've picked up and also we're going to go up to the mountains before we go to white run because there's a couple of quests up there we can get and if we go to white run first they'll send us back there anyway so let us be on with it now i stepped in here and realized that so they've stopped arguing now <laughs> did something happen my sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. <laughs> it's brother and sister, isn't it? She wanted to go and get it back and he wouldn't let her. Right, I need to sell you some stuff, though. If you find the claw, the sooner our lot Take a look. Okay. So we can sell all my daggers. We should have a load of apparel as well, yeah. Well, I think that should do it, although we could probably get rid of... What is it? Is it the spider venom? Yeah, spider venom or something that... Yeah, it's like... Get rid of that. Right, that'll do. Uh, our weight should be back to a decent level. Sell any spells? I I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Seems reasonable. Shows the path to the current goal. Actually, it's quite handy, that. The Blast of Cold that does eight points of... Oh, that's the Frostbite one. Fury. Increases armor rating by 40 points. Flesh ray zombies. I might take the clairvoyance one actually, it's quite handy. Have we got enough for frostbite? Yeah, just take both of those. Couple of spells into the mix. Steve. <laughs> I've been playing I've been doing far too many part ones of different games to put up on the channel one after the other. I've got no idea what buttons I'm pressing people. Right. 
books and use frostbite marvelous Uh, what does the clairvoyance one come under? Oh, I've got healing as well. Well, I didn't know that. Let's have a bit of that favourite, shall we? There it be. Oh, she's already gone, is she? Seems somewhat reasonable. Right, let's go, people. Let's crack on. Across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the buildings. Yes, we can see it from here. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. You're supposed to be taking me to the bridge. You just stood there like a lemon. <laughs> we have plenty of things in the shop that are worth just as much coin. Lucan found the claw about a year after he opened the store. He never quite explained where he got it. He's a tricky one. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. Mara bless you for agreeing to help us. <laughs> How much farther do I have to walk, for God's sake? Well, it's a winding road up the mountain just ahead. A long and winding road. Once you spot the old watchtower. Once you get to the tower, head north. Bleak Falls Barrow should be just around the corner further up. Marvellous. Thank you, my love. I'm on my way. Right, we'll see if this copes with the uncap. It uh, might lead to some Terry shenanigans, that, but we'll we'll see. You can't really rely on a mod to be the perfect 60 FPS journey. So far, so smooth, though, considering. What about God rays and stuff? Can we see any of them? Not yet. Bleak Fall Barrow. By far the most popular vid I've put up on the Series X, Skyrim. Fallout 4, not far behind it. I've just posted up some Witcher 3. We'll see how much people wanted to see that. And some Kingdoms of Amalur re-reckoning, which is playing absolutely stunning. You picked up time to get lost, friend. Is that the best you can do? Thank you. Right, I don't think I want to pick up loads of swords and stuff at this particular moment in time. Unless they're better than what I've got, which they aren't. I think we'll go for gems and light things. Hey. Oh, his armor rating is better because I've not got a shield on, that's why. Oh, hello. Nice. He did. Get plenty of gold off him, though.
I knew there was something worth having up here. 51 gold coins. Oh, nice. Copper ironic circlet. Nice and light. Get a bit of coin for it. And down we go again. I always get this one confused with the one that crosses over the bridge. It's just the watchtower. Oh, lost my bearings. Here we go. Yeah, I was going to say I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the <laughs> for a minute there I thought, Do I get a frost troll here? No, I don't. It's fine. It's people with bows and arrows and shears, I think. We should try and make short work of them, people. Well, so far, no problems with the frame rate. Far off a level up there, people. Ooh, it's a better bow than we've got. Take a bit of that action. Might as well take our arrows. I tend to stock up on daggers, because you can... If you put magics on them later on, you can make good stuff to get coin. But I'll leave it for now. Well, we don't need two hunting bows. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Come on, Steve. Weapons. No, why have I got four Imperial Swords? I've, I've not, I should have sold some of those. <laughs> I've got two longbows here. Well, we'll dump them if we get too heavy. Still got plenty of weight to... remember if there was anything here's the thing as well I've completely forgotten what the bloody sprint button is ah it's left bumper that's the badger I was looking for that earlier well I'm not seeing any problems with this so far that isn't like in the uncap of the 60. Or oh, the uncap of the 30, I should say, 260. We're not even getting to see the loading screen with the images on it. It's that quick. Mind you, the mace is uh, extra one damage on it right now. We do a sneaky on them. What the hell? <laughs> it's not what I meant to do.
Easy. Why am I sneaking? Get up. <laughs> you think you can take me? Uh, uh. Where did the girl go? Corundamingut. Oh, actually, we've got a level up here, people. We need to do our level ups. Leveling up. When your level increases, you must choose increase your health, magic, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time or save it. Well, I think I'm going to go for the magicka first because I'm using it a fair bit with the old flames at the minute on the left hand. Mind you, I'm also using the sword right enough, aren't I? But we'll do magic first. Can we increase our... Cast novice level destruction spells for half magicka? Yeah, that's what we're after, isn't it? It's because we're using that now. Marvellous. That'll sort us out for a little while. And that's the apprentice level ones for half magic up. Level two. Should we have a little save? Let's do a new one. Let us be on with it. The urn is empty. What lurks in this place? Surprise! You could do a sneaky on him as well, to be fair. Oh, he's heading off. Oh no, you don't, do you? Because he gets hurt by the trap. Just remembered. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, now I need to remember the uh, the trick to this. I think this one's fairly easy. So, we've got a snake and whatever that is. It's like a dolphin or something. And a snake there, which you assume used to be in the middle. So, it's snake, snake, dolphin, presumably. Well, that would be the logical one, wouldn't it? The snake's on the floor, so it would be snake, snake, dolphin. What is my actual health like? Does anyone know? And how do I see it? <laughs> I'll have a look upstairs before we do that, though. Just in case there's anything we want. Because it should open a big 
Tana. Oh, does it open the door? It just opens the door. Healing potion. Have faith in what you've done, Stephen. Snick, snick, dolphin. Assuming it's that way round, right, le left to right. That's bloody marvellous, that is, eh? He's a genius, I tell you. Oh, there's the, 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 the stairs I was thinking of. Do they come up before I... I'm sure things come up these stairs. Nice. First soul gem. Second soul gem. <laughs> down, 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 Tesweez goes into the tunnel. Yeah, I thought there was something here. Fucking hell. <laughs> Skipped the shit out of me when it leapt at me there. Yeah, that casting for half magic is awesome. Look how much magicka I've got. Good choice, that, Stephen. Oh yeah, it's that guy in it. Yes, we've got a big spidery fight in here as it happens. There it be. No health required. I've got a little bit of health regen, that's why we do. We must have been full health. Help me out of here. <laughs> he tries to screw you over when you let him out. You, over here. Arvel the Swift. Yes, well, let's see if you're swift enough. What say ye? You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Hand over the claw first. Does it look like I can move? No, that's a good point. Cut me down first. It is a fair point. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Living up to your name there, bloody swifty pants. The golden claw, thank you. Find the secret of Bleak Falls Barrow, where we shall. Arvel's journal read. I kind of, uh, do I though? I was going to say I prefer the sort of furry armour, but now that I think about it, I don't think I like the top.
Right, I assume we didn't miss anything as we scrambled out of there. Nope. Just salty eggs if you really want them. Lots of empty urns kicking around. Coronet, lovely. No, it's empty, Steve. Stop it. Onward. Oh, hello. Yeah, we've got the old, uh, what do you call them, down here, haven't we? I'm sure they wake up. Yeah, they do. Marvellous. Yeah, the axe is a bit better, isn't it? <clears throat> Amulet of Julianos increases your magicka by 10 points. Well, it'd be worth putting it on for now, not getting anything else. It's a trap! Can't remember if there's anything in these. They can search some of them, but not all of them. Hey, should we put the... the axe on? Axe on, axe off. <laughs> See what I did there? You're welcome. Bit of a change in it. I'm trying to remember if we can actually avoid that or whether it's always going to hit us. I'm pretty sure we can avoid it. You can't trigger it without standing on it, can you? I think it pulls itself back anyway, doesn't it? There they come. Let's see if I can trap them. <laughs> totally missed him. Nice. Amethyst. Come on then. <laughs> you got him. Come on, you badger. Let's be having you. Oh, I missed him. Oh, in the face, dude. Dude. I do like... Why am I searching that one again? I do like the first person view, I have to say. I know a lot of people would prefer it if I was on the... Uh... Is that stronger than the other bow? Let's take it. They're stronger than my arrows. Let's take those. A lot of people prefer seeing the third person. I mean, I do like seeing the third person run around from time to time, but 
I just find the battling and the picking up of stuff so much easier like this. It's the same with Fallout. Oh, it's Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider time. Oh, chest. Oh, easy. Jesus. Nice. Ooh, it's a level up. Whoa, whoa. Petty soul gem. Shall we level up, people? Once again. Hey, we did magicka last time. So, we're not struggling for health and stamina at the minute. We're doing all right. Maybe I'll top magicka up again. It's, uh, it's doing us proud at the moment. Could probably do with the first one-handed, though. Even archery, to some extent. Or light armor. One-handed weapons do 20% more damage. I think we'll take that, won't we? It's daft not to, really. Level three. Ooh, that was a bit silky, wasn't it? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Um. Um, ah, oh, maybe not. It's pretty bit. I was going to say, we'll put it back on, because I think some of them chase us down this hallway as well. Hanging about. That's a booby trap, that, isn't it? Maybe not. <laughs> Seems to recall some... The Ancient Greatsword. Ah, well. Oh. Not sure why my flame didn't work there. I went flame on and nothing happened. I have to say, actually, it does feel very silky smooth in here. With the 60 FPS kicking in. It feels that way anyway. The secret of the barrows. Come on then. <laughs> Oof. Droga. Activate the chain. I always end up just selling the scrolls. I never use them. Ever. I can feel this game. I feel like I've not been playing it long, but I know 
that I must have been on this for a long time. <laughs> the game that sucks up hours of your day without you even realizing. Ancient Nord Sword is better than the axe I've, I've got on. Really? I don't like it though. Hey, lost my bearings. That's where we came in, surely. Yeah, that's a dead guy. Yeah, oh, you can. Just dawned on me that I might be able to pick those up. There would be a big guy in here with an axe. Whoa. It's a great way of getting their armor down. Or getting the health down. Kicking him with the the melees. Bleak full sanctum. What? More of them. Ooh. Silky once again. Oh, hello. I think I picked one of them up already, didn't I? One of the arrows, though. Necklaces are good. Pick up loads of those and sell them. Or put magics on them and sell them. Loads of coin. marker down there.
Here we go. Indiana Jones moment or Stargate. And it's like. <laughs> Okay, if I remember rightly, I spent the first time I ever played this game, I spent ages doing different combinations. Really, what you need to do is just look at the damn claw, if I remember rightly. And miscellaneous. Uh, I'm not trying to equip it, I'm trying to look. Oh, right, you just do that, do you? So, if you look at the claw, can we zoom in? Uh, oh, 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 yeah, there we go. Bear, moth, bird by the looks of it. Bear, moth, owl, I think we'll call that. Bear, moth, owl. Well, that seems to be the one. The boy is a genius. Or the girl in this case, because I'm playing as a woman. Yeah, it's a bit of a fight with the big fella in here, isn't there? Now that I come to think about it. Be brave, Stephen. Fall in. Oh, it's our first dragon wall as well, look. Well, there's a bloody eye-opener, and no mistake, Mr. Frodo. Look at that. It's beautiful, it's true. The question is, does he come out before we do the wall, or does he... C oh yeah, I think he comes out when we open the chest. Unrelenting force. Floor to Lucan. So does he not? Oh yeah, I was going to say, does he not come out to open the chest? It's just after the wall, though, isn't it? Oh fuck yeah! He knocks your stuff out your hand, and he can't knock me magic out my hand, mate. Oh fuck! <laughs> can't see. Where is he? What you got on you? Ooh, Dragonstone. Yeah, I think that's what the R wants. So we've picked that up. Ooh, hello. Ancient Nord War Axe of Cold. And we're not bothered about the shield. Here's a thing, actually, which will help get our magics up. Sure, there's some bits kicking around the back end of here. No 
but perhaps not. Oh yeah, there we are. There we are. Garnet, gold, small gem, ingot, silver necklace. Done right in this little journey. Come on now. Up. Ooh. Yeah, I'll stick that on. Steel mace. That's four more damage than we're using. Amethyst. Gold coin. 80. Studded armor of health. Increases your health by 30. Really? Copper and moonstone circlet. I mean, as we stand at the minute, we are... All about the imperial armour. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with that for now. Till such time as we get our blacksmith going. Pretty sure there's a quick way out of it. Which is up those stairs. Ah. Always worth looking around, people. Always worth looking around. He says and has probably walked past something extraordinary that someone will point out once I've gone miles from this place. <laughs> Love that. Absolutely outstanding. Looks amazing. Let us be gone from this place. Activate the handle. And out we go. See how quickly Skyrim loads up again. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance to spin the axe around, people. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And that's it. So we need to teleport from here, really, unless we want to walk all the way through the barrows. But there's your world in the uncap. I mean, it looks great. It's not stuttering or juttering or jittering or anything it's fine so hopefully Bethesda will bring us an official one with other little perks maybe with this and Fallout 4 but it looks terrific it really does I'm gonna save it here before we move off and as it happens that is perfect timing people because we're just approaching the hour mark and with it being a 60 FPS one, which I'll render it as, uh, it's an ideal time to wrap it up so that it takes... If I go over an hour with 60 FPS renderings, then it tends to take ages to put my intros and outros on, that sort of stuff. So I, t I like to keep my episodes to an hour or under, especially if it's 60 FPS. But they go on. Often they go over people. We can't tell what's going to happen. And I hate stopping in the middle of things. So anyway, look, I hope that was of help to people. There was quite a few of you who had asked me to try out this mod. Uh, the Uncap 60 mod, and these things are free and it's worth trying. Obviously, the only downside is that they aren't necessarily supported. They can make things crash from time to time. 
And I haven't seen any of that, though. And it's played really beautifully and smoothly. So there you are. I hope that's been of help to the people that asked for it. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in Skyrim on the Xbox Series X. And I shall see you next time, folks. Take it easy. Bye.